Hey there, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Hey, did you know that gardening is one of the most therapeutic things you can do? It's just good for you. I've got six reasons why. Well, the first reason that gardening can be therapeutic is stress reduction. I mean, if you had a bad day, you're about to blow your top, you've got anxiety issues, come out and walk in your garden. Just enjoy the quietness of the place. Yeah, sometimes you're going to find things like pots that need to have plants in them. That could stress you out, but I mean, it's your garden, right? It's not, no one's holding you to it. Don't be stressed out. You know, I've got a plant here that a hornworm took down yesterday. I have to replace. No big deal. You know, come out in your garden, enjoy the quietness, touch the soil, uh, smell the plants, and just let that stress melt away. My garden is my place of peace, even when it kind of looks bad like this. There's a second way that gardening is therapeutic. It, it really gets you connected with nature. You start to learn the rhythms of nature, the uh, balances of, of seasons. You get to learn how plants grow and function. You get to learn about life in the soil. And as you learn this, you, you feel confident and you, you gain confidence. Um, the connection with nature really is a a nice way of calming you and uh, like this for example I'm amazed every year that things go dormant and come back they go dormant they come back this is a uh, parfionca pomegranate and it's uh, got fruit on it this year and it looked dead in the winter uh, my, my uh, trees they, they go dormant they come back it's amazing every time you plant a seed you're connecting with nature because you're watching that life come from that tiny little seed in fact, I'm going to update you on my single seed challenge because that's what the single seed challenge, one of the things it's designed to do is connect us to nature in a very intimate and close up way. Hang on. Here's my single seed challenge. That was one seed planted in here. There's a video about this. And uh, the single seed challenge helps us connect with nature in an intimate way. This is the only tomato of this variety that I'm growing. It's an Isis candy. Uh, tomato and uh, it's the only one I'm growing and I'm taking special care of this one I'm going to put it in one of those pots at the end of my garden and we're going to nurture this one along and watch it to the uh, to its full lifespan I like that I like the single seed challenge and uh, I like the connection with nature that having your hands in the ground and dealing with uh, plants and trees I, I like that it's a good connection it's good therapy look at this bed I flame weeded this bed already and I uh, haven't covered it yet. I've been working on these beds over here. But I got things coming back, especially things like that bindweed I don't like. So we'll dig that one out. Make sure we kill it, get it dead. Um, the third thing that is therapeutic, or at least good for you with regard to gardening, it's physical. There's physical activity involved. We're out here exerting ourselves, digging, turning, tilling bending up and down planting stuff and it's good for the body good physical acti activity especially you know, if you sit in a sit in an office all the time um, physical activity it gets you some exercise gets you moving a little bit which is always good for your body and when you get older this kind of low impact physical exertion is good for us and listen to those roots on that and uh, does the body well when you physically exercise, your body also releases endorphins, which can give you a almost euphoria, euphoria sometimes, and make you feel good. <laughs> so, yeah, get in your garden and do a little bit of exercise. I like to spend time in the garden daily. And it's not every day that you're out there exerting yourself, but a pretty good amount of time, you know, goes into digging and weeding. A little bit each day do you good. Well, the, the fourth therapeutic benefit of gardening, especially when you garden for food, is a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, you can build up your self-esteem if you struggle with that by uh, growing food. Because when you harvest, you say, look what I grew. <laughs> look at that, I grew a carrot. Now, some people think they have a brown thumb or a black thumb and they can't grow anything, but there are things that are out there and they're easy to grow and you will be successful if you give it a try. And uh, yeah, I mean, 
to accomplish things. To say that I put seeds in the ground and produced food for, for myself. I put seeds in the ground and grew a plant. I planted a tree and I grew some fruit. Sense of accomplishment, very important. Um, very discouraging when you fail. But if you do fail, um, like they say, it's kind of cheesy, but fail forward. I hate to use those cheesy terms, but that's, you know, make use of failure. If you fail, then you can go back and analyze what you did and gain wisdom from that. And when you succeed, then you'll have that great satisfaction, that benefit. Say, look what I grew. And there's nothing better than that when you grow your own food. Sense of accomplishment. The next benefit of gardening, especially talking about food gardening, um, which is therapeutic to your body physically, is the, the nutritional aspect. Well, I know what's in these carrots because I put the seeds in that soil right over there. I know what's not on these carrots because I didn't spray them with anything. That's the problem with mass market crops is that um, you never know what's on them. You never know what they've been sprayed with, what they've been treated with, what wax is covering them. And uh, yeah, you just, you don't know for sure. And a lot of this store-bought food is nutritionally weak. And the reason for that usually, well, besides farming practices on the mass scale, the, uh, the reason is they're, they're not really good varieties. They're hybrids and they've been bred to have certain characteristics. Number one, they want them to ship well and not get damaged during shipping. They want them to sit on the shelf a long time. They want them to taste reasonably well, but normally when you hybridize, you, you skip over the nutritional part. That's not of high concern. But if I garden, I can amend my soil. I can get densely mineralized soil, which gives me uh, good nutrition, food that's good for you. Um, there is a book that I read by Steve Solomon, and he talks about mineralizing the soil. And people who grow in densely mineralized soil don't have any tooth problems hardly. They're healthy, they live a long time. And uh, I think he called that, I think that book was called The Intelligent Gardener, I recommend it. But nutrition, I don't have herbicides in my garden. I don't have pesticides that are harmful to me. And I know what's going in the ground. And also I can pick varieties that are known to be nutrient dense. I can grow um, tomatoes that are deeply colored and all that rich color, it's got antioxidants, it's good for me. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm kind of a large guy. I got to lose some weight. I'm going on a health journey. And guess what? What can help me? I can grow good food to help me down that path. Finally, the last therapeutic benefit of gardening is the spiritual side of things. Now, you might not believe in the spiritual side of humanity, but I do. And I believe in God, the God of the Bible. This is a lot of the places uh, where I talk with him, I meet with him. So calming, so very peaceful, it's quiet. Um, usually, until you have airplanes flying over and dogs barking on the other side of the fence. It's part of life, part of gardening, but a connection with a garden and being a steward of things that are here created in the created order uh, brings me closer to God. And I mean, after all, in the Bible, the opening account is that mankind was placed in a garden for the purposes of tending the creation. And so we're very close to our created reason for being here when we garden and when we bring forth life out of the food, it's a, it's a, life out of the soil. It's a picture of the purpose of man to bring forth life and to guard life and to tend life and to nurture it and to use it and be, have dominion over it. So in the garden, a lot of people will say, it's a very spiritual experience for me. When you plant a seed and you see that new life come out of the soil, again, it's a spiritual experience almost for a lot of people. Very calming, very good for you, very good for your soul. So yeah, there are my six reasons why gardening is very beneficial and therapeutic. And uh, if you haven't gardened, check out my channel and see how easy it is to put in a raised bed like this or to grow some things on your balcony in a pot. See how easy it is to bring forth fruit from a fruit tree and keep it small. Um, I'll teach you how to garden if you'd like to learn and I hope we've earned your subscription. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time on Black Gumbo. Take care.